For some, it's a step back in time. Just five years ago, Hurricane Maria, a Category 4, swept through Puerto Rico back in 2017, wiping away everything for many. Now residents have survived through another storm, with some saying the damage done was much worse. Here at home, people across northern Illinois are coming together to help ensure assistance goes directly to the mainland residents. Our 13 News' Rachel Sanchez has more. For many residents on the island of Puerto Rico, the damage and debris left in the wake of Hurricane Fiona stirs up memories from five years ago when Hurricane Maria left millions of people in the dark. It was pretty similar. It was like a deja vu. It was kind of like a flashback. I was like, okay, they're okay. You know, they, they made it last time. They're, they're going to be fine this time too. Flash forward to this week, 820,000 people have had their power restored, but hundreds of thousands more remain without to even charge a cell phone. People are now waiting in long lines for hours to plug into a generator. I mean, we still don't have electricity or, or water. We are using a power generator and we don't have uh, water either. I'm currently using uh, the reserves of water that I have. Getting from place to place has also become a challenge for residents. Gasoline prices have skyrocketed. People are waiting in lines for hours just to get a few gallons of gas as many stations are running out. We're going to identify which towns, which cities, families that need it the most. Myrna Lopez is a Puerto Rican citizen living in Aurora, Illinois. She says she's on her way to help the people of her home, bringing in crucial supplies before the situation becomes dire. We're just raising funds and trying to get gift cards and stuff just to give it to the people. And I'm going to personally be handling these donations. Right now, Islanders are relying on the goodwill of people like Lopez as FEMA works to address critical infrastructure needs. Despite the chaotic surroundings, Lopez says the people of Puerto Rico are resilient and they will recover. I'm Rachel Sanchez, 13 WREX. And since our report, over 200,000 residents remain without power as storm systems in the Caribbean continue to pose a threat. It's a long road to recovery with restoration for roads and infrastructure still in need of attention even before Hurricane Maria. And for more information on how you can support the relief efforts from the Puerto Rican Cultural Council, you can visit our website at WREX.com.